Sadly, friends, Halloween is over. What, you don't embrace Halloween like I do? I love Halloween, but it's time to deflate the decorations, take down the lights, and put away the costumes. And if you haven't done the deed yet, it's time. Okay, you don't have to be that dramatic, but you do need to get rid of the candy and any other Halloween leftovers that aren't doing you any favors at this point. These first few holiday weekends were a real slap in the face with reminding me of just how easy it is to get off track during the holiday season. Whether we're partying it up with friends, drudging through the holiday season alone, or stressed out by all the holiday magic, the holiday season just seems to make everything harder, especially staying on track with our health. And don't forget about the danger of including alcohol. I'm not talking about the drunk driving. Just one drink gets you making food choices that you would not have otherwise chosen. If you need to prove that to yourself, go ahead but then come running back to us. Then maybe even consider spending one or two of your holidays dry. You're on the right kind of team to get somebody to make that pact with you. We're heading into fast number two and still focused on the prep. Okay, physical prep. Don't forget to get the seltzer, the tea, the coffee, the pickle juice, whatever you need, have it ready. Or if not, maybe distract yourself with a trip out to the store on fasting day. But be careful if you're a beginner with walking into a grocery store on fasting day. Maybe take a drive and opt for grocery pickup. Family prep, make the meals and pack the lunches ahead of time. And tell only those people who are directly affected by your plans. Until you're confident enough to defend yourself in fasting, you don't want any extra flack. Mental prep. Mental prep is perhaps the most important thing for a faster. You wanna go into this with conviction. Think about what you're trying to achieve and keep that in your mind. Plan for some healing time. You don't have to get fancy. Maybe you take the time to put cream all over your body after your shower. That's a luxury, right? Maybe listen to some classical music. Do anything that elevates you into a space where you don't normally spend a lot of time, even if that's just a minute of quiet time in your closet. Stick with the team. Talk to us when you need support. Your brain likes that safety in numbers kind of feel. And eat solidly today. Fill up on your healthy fats and proteins. Part of the mental and physical prep for fasting is going in solidly knowing that you've had enough nourishment to sustain you for at least another day. And then just see how far it takes you. You never have to go beyond where you're comfortable. I do encourage you on these prep days to start experimenting with different start times. If you start your fast earlier today, you'll feel hungry at dinner time, but you'll only have to get through that one meal. And maybe you have a little broth and make it feel like you're not skipping anything at all. In this way, the ketone energy of your fat breaking down will come flooding in while you sleep. And boom, you'll wake up feeling fully loaded with energy. My personal schedule for this fast will have me starting later. I'll have more hunger waves to get past tomorrow and I'll need more distractions. But that's okay, I'll have you for support and you'll have me and all your teammates. Call on us. Remember, there's no screwing up a fast. You'll try different tricks each time and just see how far you can go. Good luck, friends. See you on the inside.